so the uh, name of the film is uh, Psycho Killer, or I guess it's on Showtime it's called Lady Psycho Killer. Yes, it and is. And then on DVD it's called Psycho Killer. Is it, yeah. Is there a, is you, <laughs> I don't understand. I don't really either. Okay, um, good. Um, I, I actually, I, I can explain it a little bit. So when this was picked up for distribution, um, it was just before a lot of these allegations about sexual harassment started coming out. Uh -huh. And a lot of retailers, specifically retailers for the DVD and the future Blu-ray release, uh -huh. um, were very uncomfortable with the word lady and psycho next to one another. Right. So, I mean, being the film that it is, we're like, okay, so take it out, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> and sure. then when Showtime wanted it, they were like, no, we're cool with the title. So it's kind of one of those, like... Yeah. So they're cool with, with the s actual psycho killing going oh, on. Oh, for sure. Yeah, all right, it's cool. Oh, yeah. Just as long as we know. I think, so, yeah. So I think, um, why don't you explain the plot uh, of it to us, um, because uh, I think the name itself does not do it justice. It is probably one of the, it, it had a very successful festival run, but it was kind of sneaky. So people would watch the trailer. I'm, I am actually describing the plot right now. Mm -hmm. I know it doesn't sound like No, no, yeah, I got you. Um, people would watch the trailer, and then they would actually start hitting us up for info, because we're very accessible, like mm -hmm. myself and my producer, Albert Malamed. Um, and we tell them, like, we wrote this movie basically riffing on Dawson's Creek. And we wanted it to basically fit in on the WB, but like kind of in a sneaky way, where it's like we're subverting that idea. Mm. as much as humanly possible, and trying to crack up as much as we can between the two of us, <laughs> basically taking the form of an after-school special uh -huh. and throwing in <laughs> outrageously intense, terrible moments. Yes. <laughs> and it worked. It, it, it's awkward, it's campy, and it's really fun. Yeah. So I saw the trailer for it, and uh, I think all of those things describe it perfectly. There you go. And um, I look forward to seeing the whole movie. Um, what, uh, coming from Aroostook County, what does your mom think of uh, a movie <laughs> about a lady psycho killer? Well, um, the first time I tried to make a movie, I actually tried to make it here. It was called The Zombies Are Coming to Town. Mm -hmm. And that movie was as much fun as it was, as much I, as I got out of it in terms of personal growth, was terrible. <laughs> and I, I made it in the county, and I made it with a whole lot of people from the county. And when I showed my mother, she said, yeah, you should be doing something else. <laughs> I hear I, that a lot too. Don't yeah, let it stop you. There you go. No, live the dream, man. Um, when I brought this one to her, because I let her know what I'm up to, where mm -hmm. she's actually working with me now that she's retired from the Air Force. She's working with me on a documentary that we're making in Maine called Our Casco Bay. Oh, nice. Which is filming now. But um, I brought her this film and I said, well, well, we wrote this one. We think it's really funny and we've got some interest in making it. And she said, really? You're going to make another horror movie? And I felt terrible. It's, it sucks when you don't have the support of your family, right? Mm -hmm. But she supported me in a lot of ways. She just didn't like the content. Mm -hmm. Until one day, I gave her an awesome phone call. So the other thing about my mother is she's a huge Star Trek fan. Oh. Like, the first movie I went to as a child was with her, and it was Return Home. Which I fell asleep during. But <laughs> she, I was like four or five, I don't know. But she's like the biggest Trekkie in the world, and her favorite character in Star Trek is Captain Kirk. Mm -hmm. And I got to call her one day and say, hey, Ma, I got him. And she had no idea what I was talking about. <laughs> I said, yeah, no, in my movie, the one that you said I shouldn't be doing, I've got Malcolm McDowell laying on the floor, <laughs> dead. <laughs> If you don't know, Malcolm McDowell played a character that actually yes. killed Captain Kirk yeah. in the movie yes. series. Yeah. And when I told her that, she's like, you know what? I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna let you pass on this. this, is a, <laughs> this is good. I, we actually had a picture that we sent to her and everything. It was wonderful. That's beautiful.